Right, so we're just about to pick up Mike. Residual current, AKA residual current from Instagram. Hello, buddy, jump in. Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? It is, mate. Right, so let's get this camera set up. Very technical setup here, mate. <laughs> you know, working on a budget here. So if I scooch up close to you, don't worry about it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to put it on you. So, pleasure to meet you, my man. Yeah, good to meet you. Thanks for coming all the way over here. Mike, you are known as Residual Current on Instagram. Yeah. You also do Loadout as well, which yeah. is electricians, Tools. Tools. Tools and equipment, yeah. And I've gone down this one-way yeah, street, haven't I? Spin round. It's brilliant. <laughs> this is this is a, amazing, my, isn't it? <laughs> listen, just so as the people out there understand, Mike lives in like a maze. <laughs> it's unbelievably complicated. But yeah, Mike. So loadout. What's loadout about? Uh, so it's just a tool tool store, really. So with my um, electrical Instagram. I'd get, I'm always posting about tools, always talking about tools, and I'd always get asked where to get them from. And I sat there and thought, sure, I could actually, I could actually um, get them to people myself and, and do it myself. And also, the industry in the nicest possible way is a bit tired. The way people sell tools and use social media and stuff like that, it's just, it's a bit outdated. So loadout Very. is, is, it's in your face. It's showing you all the tools that you could ever want, how to use them. Um, breakdown videos, reviews, uh, testing the tools, and just bringing you good content about it, you know, in a, in a fresh, unique way. So that was the idea with that. Um, and then, yeah, just using my experience and knowledge with my personal Instagram, I've just put that into Loadout, and yeah, it's going really well so far. Um, and I'm excited to see how it grows and stuff like that. It's good, man. I mean, so you, go, let's go back in time. You yeah. are an electrician. Yes, yes, work electrician. Uh, I still am as well, even with loadout going on. I'm still on the tools every day. I'm on paternity at the minute, but um, yeah. What well, electrician gets paternity leave, man? <laughs> I'm on the cards. <laughs> oh, mate, what is that about? Oh, it's a good deal, mate. It's a good yeah, I deal. bet it is. I would have <laughs> loved that. <laughs> I was self-employed for uh, like seven years, and the last two years I've been on the cards, so. Okay. So, so yeah. uh, what made you jump back on the cards? Uh, I just I was working. I moved around a few companies. Left um, left the company I was at for a while, and then uh, went with this new one. And it's really good there. And um, I was there for a while. And you know, you should do anyway, shouldn't you? You should go on the cards if you're subbing for a certain amount of time anyway. But yeah, it's three months, I think. Yeah, and then well, they, I, I was there about a year. But <laughs> yeah, um, it, it, everyone does it, don't they? But um, yeah, and then he offered me, and it was a good deal. And I've grown with the company and. It's a really good company as well, you know, so... Well, that's not happening, is it? Yeah, we can't get out of there, can we? Can we go back that way? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. yeah. So this is one of the, this is one of the downsides. Um, <laughs> watching me having to do reversing <laughs> in the most ridiculous truck I've ever driven in my life. But I'm awesome at driving, as we as we know by now. <laughs> so you're... I think this is episode number four with you. Um, yeah. You obviously... You obviously got some sort of traction out there. You've obviously got some sort of quality that people like to follow because <laughs> your Instagram has blown up. Yeah, it's going well. It's you obviously well. know how to make good content that people want to follow. Yeah, I've just been posting my day to day really. Like, yeah. For the last two years, and yeah, it's, like, it gets a lot of it gets a lot of interest. I mean, the whole Instagram's blown up a lot recently. Anyway, there's a lot of people doing very well on there. Um, you know, gaining good followings and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just sort of growing with me, really. So, how many followers you got now? At the minute, sixteen point five k. Wow, um, so, yeah. I've got like two thousand for easy to eat, and I'm like, I think I'm falling out of control. I'm basically a celebrity. <laughs> and to be fair, got given a car. Yeah, well, there you go. I don't know how I've managed got. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously in the wrong game. Yeah, I've got to give it back though. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Um, no, I mean, so you, so you've been uh, doing some stuff with E5 as well, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, went on a few podcasts with them guys. Yeah. How so? How are you finding the social media world? It's quite friendly, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's amongst very, electricians, it's very good amongst electricians. I think Instagram's probably the best place for it. I'm on. Twitter and other stuff, um, and it's not, it can be a bit toxic at times, um, but yeah, I find Instagram's pretty good, uh, it has its moments <laughs> between people yeah. and stuff, but oh, um, mate. There's been I some... try to stay out of it all, you know, and just like up. positive vibes. There's been some crazy things going on lately, yeah. 
yeah, it's yeah. mental. But outside of that, what yeah. is the future for you? Because obviously you're a family man. Yeah, yeah, I've got two kids. Um, two kids, just had one, obviously, and yeah. then I've got a little girl as well. He's uh, nearly two, so yeah, um, just uh, carry on working, to be honest. I love the tools. Um, so yeah, I just. But I seem to remember listening to one of the podcasts. You are um, you're you are a working foreman, is that right? Yes, yes. So it's it's um, yeah, I am a working foreman at the minute. I spend a lot of time in the office, just projecting and stuff like that as well. But then I do have weeks where I'm just on the tools, um, you know, doing all sorts of bits as well. But my job role is a working foreman when uh, we got projects that cater to that sort yeah. of setup. Do you know what I mean? Um, so. Do you been? How long have you been a qualified electrician for? Uh, qualified. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 15. I'm 24. Uh, did a three-year apprenticeship. It's just six years. I think it's just below six years. But, so with yeah. that in mind, there's people out there um, that will say, "How can you be a foreman? Right. Yeah. With only six years' experience. First of all, I think they'd have to work with me and see. You know. Um, because I know people with far more experience that can't run a bath. Um, but <laughs> can't run a bath. <laughs> also, um, you know, I don't profess to know it all, but I know how to run um, the projects that we do. And we sur- it's not just me, you know, we're surrounded by a team of people that know what they're doing. And um, yeah, if I, you know, I don't know it all. Some stuff I'm, I'll seek help on or I'll educate myself on. But um, the projects I run are more than capable of, of delivering, you know, um, technically and um, practically. But um, yeah, so obviously there's stuff one, that I can't do, but I don't tend to do that. One of the one of the um, criticisms of you know the younger lads running a job mm. is we like. There's going to be problems you don't know how to fix. Yeah, a hundred percent. And you're going to come across that. But I think that's a bit of a weak argument, um, in my opinion, because actually I think you can. It's a, it's about there's a logic to being a tradesman mm. that runs across through all trades. Once you've sort of, I call it sight common sense. There you go. <laughs> you got to have that sight common sense. Don't you? Yeah, okay. and I think I think that can be, and I think you can apply that sight common sense to mm. any situation. Probably come out of the answer. Oh, definitely, and a lot of people who hold the answers, um, they only know because they've done it themselves. They've they've gone through the problems themselves and learnt the hard way, you know. So we've all got to. You're never gonna. You're never gonna um, run jobs if you don't run any jobs. Do you know what I mean? And if you if you're too young to run a job, and you you ain't got enough experience to run a job, then how are you going to get experience running jobs? Do you know what I mean? Um, but I was running jobs. Um, before I was qualified to put smaller domestic jobs, smaller commercial jobs, parts of jobs, um, large girl jobs I'd get given a section and stuff like that and that's just the way I was trained. So, so you I, was brought on? It was heavily put in, In I worked within a commercial indu- industrial firm, I did my apprenticeship with them and it was after my first year it was like right you're doing all the lighting on this floor, all the materials, organise the lads, everything like that oh, from, so you from a, the start. So, so it's it was all a good apprenticeship really? Yeah it was. Um, it was hard, I hated it at the time, absolutely hated it, and they treated me like shit. Can I swear on it? Yeah, of course yeah. you uh, They treated me like absolute shit, but... Um, it lay like your <laughs> I don't know where it's going. Um, yeah, and then, um, but I look back and it's the best thing I ever did, I'm really grateful for it, especially seeing some of the apprenticeships that people do now. But, um, yeah, so that helped me, and, you know, I've made loads of mistakes running jobs, but don't we all? And, just got to learn from them and luckily there's loads of good people at the firm I'm at, loads of people I see as mentors and, and people to lean on and learn from so you've got that as well. If you're doing it on your own, you know, especially uh, subbing and stuff, if you get a foreman on his own, you don't know what he's doing but, you know, I can lean on the people around me as well um, so I think that helps. So your answer is you've had a good a good apprenticeship where they put you under pressure earlier. Yeah, yeah, um, pressure makes diamonds they say, don't they? So. Yes. Oh, um, I don't describe myself as a diamond, though. Relax. <laughs> no, no. <it's> just... <laughs> <laughs> Relax, yeah. Um, and then, so, sight, common sense. Yeah. And, and, you know, like... And just admitting what you don't know as well. There's plenty of stuff that I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So That's important. That's, have... that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, don't pull the ball over anyone's lies and act like you know what you're doing when you don't. Yeah, that's um... me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, could, I could do that, mate. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Quickly phone someone. Yeah, Probably yeah. Neil. Yeah. Neil, how'd you do this, mate? <laughs> <laughs>
no, I'm, you know, it's um, it's nice to see that like young, young sparks like yourselves coming into the game and, and you know what, taking the ball by the horns. Because I always say that the electrical industry is like 20 years behind. Mm. Like the attitude and mentality towards yeah. towards it is like 20 years behind. It's, it's nonsense, well, really. That's, yeah, like that's going forward with. I know a lot of young electricians that are really good, but um, like you say, it's almost like. Uh, not an old man's club, but you you don't get respected no. until you're grey. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. it's like, hang on, there's people who are better than me, my age, and there's you know there's also everyone comes from somewhere and everyone's at different levels. But I don't think age. Don't get me wrong, experience is a big thing. But I get it all the time. I'm 24. I rock onto a job, and they're like, "Where's your boss?" Or you're not running this one, are you? <laughs> but as soon as they get to know me, and you know they find out and see that I've got nine years of experience under my belt. Um, you know, it changes. Yeah. It, and, and, and they get around the fact that... Well, why are we going? I'm, uh... <laughs> young. Get around the, the fact that I'm, um, I'm young and I look like I'm 12. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, fair enough. I mean, I'll get that as well, because yeah. fat don't crack. Um, so, you know, it's like when you blow up a balloon. Balloon don't have no wrinkles, does no, it? No, no, it don't, no. <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, listen. Thank you very much for this interview, mate. Um, yeah. Residual Current, tell them where to find you. Yeah, uh, Residual Current on Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitter, and loadout.shop on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, and www.loadout.shop for the website. Go check it out. Boom, check him out.